this video I'm going to try my best to slow down uh, show the techniques and pieces of Little Martha by the Allman Brothers just maybe one of the greatest finger style songs of all time uh, for many people myself included song uh, is played for me in open D tuning capo on the second fret for the sake of time I've already uh, put my guitar in that tuning but quickly how I get to that tuning it's really not difficult is drop both D's to my D string match those octaves then I match my octave um, A to A um, notes on the A string and what was the B string is I drop it down a whole step so I've dropped three strings down a whole step both E strings tuned to my D note to my D string open and my B string tuned to my A string open down to an A that just leaves the G string which goes down a half step to an F sharp so instead of going to the fifth fret and matching that on the D string and G string uh, I just go to the fourth fret and uh, that gives me the F sharp tone and, and drop my G string down that half step so now we're all together and we've capoed up to the second fret. Let's look at the introduction. I'll try to play it uh, sort of up to tempo, show you the pieces, and then maybe slow it down. Most of the emphasis will be on uh, the left hand uh, for sake of time, but really this isn't an alternating thumb piece. Most of the drones that you hear are just the open low string, so uh, hopefully you'll be able to, to pick out what I'm showing you on top against the bass on the bottom. <laughs> grips there are just an open and then using the first finger on the G string and then just a second finger on the D string second fret the only other chord in it is kind of what almost like a stretched out E7 second fret D first fret G and then down here on the fourth fret I'm using my pinky so I'll put that really slow and see if you can see where those are rather than a pull off I use first fret of the G string second fret of the D string and then open and then there is this double stop second fret D first fret G Okay, let's think of this as a series of twos. Again, the open, D and G, the double stop, first fret and second fret, G and D. And then let's think of these two strings together, G and B, and the B and E together. Two, two, two. Back down, then right back down, two, two. This time, another set of twos. Second fret D, fourth fret A, back to our double stop, first and second G and D, open. So it's a lot of twos, two strings together, double stops. The next time, from here, it goes to open G and D, to open A and D. I'm going to try to play it as slow as I can, and you'll notice the thumb underneath just kind of droning on the E string. It's the first section. Now we're going to go up to the fifth fret. I'm speaking as if the capo wasn't on, so um, the fifth fret with the capo. Again. Okay, that was not good, so we'll try that one more time. So we're barring across the 5th fret, and again we're using the same double stop idea on the G and the D string. Here I'm going on 6th and 7th fret, and then working up that bar. 
grabbing those two strings together, G and B, and B and, and E. And the back down, and then pulling off. It's, it's almost like a hammer on up, coming down with a pull off. The second phrase is just another hammer on, and then I go up and pull my bar off. little piece which is sixth and seventh fret G and B and then back to the bar. So that's a little tricky. Let's try to play that a few times. It's kind of the hard part. Let's put those together. That brings you to the second part of the song. So the grips here, um, I'm using my, for, for whatever reason, I like my first and third finger, the G string, I'm grabbing it up here on the, um, let's see, that's uh, eighth fret, and then the ninth fret, the B and E string with my third finger against an open A note. Don't go into a bar on the fifth fret of the G, B, and E string, and then the seventh fret. And that's pretty simple left hand stuff. And then down to a first fret G, Open B and 2nd fret E. One more time, that real slow. This is that little double stop again, sliding it up to 2 frets to 3 and 4. Down to one and two, then open, then a pull off from three on the third fret uh, of the E string to an open D string. come back around to that after the next verse there are a couple of uh, variations um, I hammer on instead of just picking that straight there's a hammer on and hammer off you could do this with three fingers but for me it was just a whole lot simpler with two so I'm barring across four strings the seventh fret D string up through high E string taking my second finger and hammering on the G string uh, up there a fret and, and then up two frets from the bar my B and E string so that gives me this position when I finish okay real quickly 7th fret D 8th fret G 9th fret B and E then back to this bar those chords I've worked with before There's a harmonic sequence in there, and it's uh, on the 5th fret, B string by itself, G string by itself, then I grab both the D and the A together, and then the A and the E together. Okay, and then after the song finishes, um, let's look at the, the ending. In groups of four. I want to grab the inside uh, four strings A through B in a harmonic form on the fifth fret and then the inside four on the seventh fret and then the top four way up here on the twelfth fret and then the bottom four to finish 
back on the seventh fret. And then maybe an open. So that's five, middle four, seven, middle four, 12, top four, seven, bottom four, and then maybe a. Or any with the harmonic. Hopefully that'll help you to break down some of Little Martha. What a great song. Thanks for watching.